Heavenly Father. Alright, so tonight I was actually supposed to be asleep a few minutes ago, but um, as I was laying down, trying very hard to doze off before going to work, I realized that that what I needed was not sleep, but I just needed rest. I just needed a period of break where I was not thinking of deadlines, thinking of exams, thinking of work, and just thinking of so much. And as I was just having this moment of clarity and serenity, the 23rd Psalms came to me and I was just going through it in my mind. And I was like, there is a lesson here. There's a lesson lying in Psalms chapter 23. And I, I'm just waiting for it to just come out. So as I kept reciting the Psalm in my head, verse 2 stuck with me. He leads me besides the still waters and I was like, yes, this is the message. And the message is when God isolates you. Now, I am not a pastor, I am not an ordained preacher, I am not a prophetess, I am not an evangelist, I am just a child of God. Well, not just, I am a child of the King. And, you know, God just creates opportunities for us to teach and exhort each other and even rebuke each other sometimes. So. This word that I have today, I pray that it would minister to you out there. All right, when God isolates you, when I think of still waters, I think of two things. One thing that comes to mind is peace. <laughs> Secondly, the other thing that comes to mind is reflection. Number one, peace. Still waters. Imagine you're at the beach and <laughs> the water starts spinning on like a whirlpool. <laughs> yeah me lord knows if i can't dig into the ground to hide myself i will sprint to safety so now god wants us to understand that we human beings are visual creatures sometimes your inner thoughts your inner self your inner peace can be disrupted by what is on the outside it takes a lot of work and a lot of resilience and uh, lord knows strength to experience or learn about hardships and troubles that's in the world and not be affected by it mentally or emotionally. As human beings, we're all interconnected. When something is happening in South Africa, it's happening in Kenya. Even if you're not Kenyan, I mean, you would just feel the pain of others. So when it comes to our external environments, Jesus knows that sometimes we need to be isolated. A shepherd owns several sheep. But why did David say he leads me, just me? Sometimes God has to get you away from certain people, from certain situations, from certain things so we can be able to have peace because he knows that when we see peaceful waters, when we see peaceful things, it resonates and it affects our psyche, it affects our thoughts. So while we see peace, we act peace and we think peace. And vice versa, we think peace and then we act peaceful. So that is what Jesus said. And David experienced that. David experienced a time in his life where God had to isolate him, not because God wanted him to be ravished by a wolf, but instead God wanted him to experience a fresh and new environment so David could feel the relief he was looking for. A lot of us, just too much is going on. It could be at school it could be at your job it could be at home sometimes we have to pray for God to lead us besides the still waters God does not want you to divorce that man just because you guys are fighting all the time God does not want you to quit your job just because it's hard sometimes he just needs to change your perspective and when he changes your perspective and all you see is peace even in the midst of war, you start to think peace and you become peaceful. Our minds are one of the most amazing and most powerful things that God created. So even our eyes, because our sight allows us to be able to absorb certain images and our, our mind allows us to imagine. So God just wants to change your perspective. That is why he is separating you from the things and the issues and the situations that are constantly triggering you so that you can find yourself in a place of peace that is what I did tonight I was like I can't think of my exam right now I can't think of school right now I'm supposed to be sleeping but I can't but just clearing my mind from everything going on 
just saying, you know what, let me take a break. That just created a relief and I felt like I rested. I literally did, laid in bed for 12 minutes. 12 minutes exactly, I rose up feeling so refreshed. And secondly, so yeah, what did I say? Your external environments can really take a toll and affect how you feel. So you can be in a place of issues, troubles, it can affect your peace. But when Jesus takes you to that mindset, to that perspective where when you see waters, you don't see a whirlpool, you don't see issues, instead you see peace, it can create a peaceful life for us. So the next thing I wanna talk about is reflection. We all know water, when you look into water, especially water that is still, you are able to see yourself. Even if it might not be the perfect portrait of yourself, you're able to see an outline, you're able to see an image, you're able to see the color, you're able to see yourself and recognize yourself. Sometimes when God isolates us, it's not because he wants us to be lonely. It's not because he doesn't want us to have that man or that woman or have those friends. It's not because he wants us to be loners. Sometimes God isolates us because he wants us us to be able to see and know ourselves too many times we want to jump into the bandwagon of oh yeah I'm gonna get married or I want to get married or we just jump into trends and all these things and we're running we're going we have no stop and we get into relationships we get into school not knowing what we want to study we get into relationships not knowing who we are but then when Jesus separates us and we go to that still water. Whether it is to drink or not, he helps us to see ourselves. Now, I mean, let me just say a sheep. You know, <laughs> David has already said, oh, he leads me besides the green pastures. You know, like, he was just chilling with God as a sheep. He was chilling with his shepherd. And so imagine, he's laid in the grass, he's dirty, but he doesn't see himself. Maybe he had a fight with another sheep, who knows? He had a problem with someone else and now he's dirty and he's going around looking like a clown and not understanding why people are laughing at him and not and, and sensing that something is wrong but he just could not put his hands on it sometimes we sense that something is wrong but it is not until we self-reflect that we start to see the source of our problem so I want to ask what is the source of your problem sometimes you just have to stand back and take a break <laughs> take a break and ask yourself I don't feel right. What is wrong with me? I don't feel or act like myself. Something is off. It is not until we get isolated that God would allow us. It, you know, God blocks out the, the naysayers. He blocks out everybody's perception of us. He blocks out what people think of us. And he just lets us see ourselves for who we truly are. Because sometimes we have friends and we have partners who compliment us, who tell us we're doing great when we know we're not doing our best. Sometimes it is encouragement, but sometimes people patronize and flatter us to the point where we stop seeing our issues and we just go with everybody thinks I'm perfect, so I must be when we're not. And so we're hurt and we're just in a different place. So when Jesus isolates you, sometimes it might feel lonely, but it is an opportunity. Just see it as an opportunity to to do some self-reflection and change what you need to and to just see yourself for who you truly are and not what other people think of you be it good or bad sometimes our best witnesses is us Jesus could tell us everything but until we know and see that and until we know and accept our identity we would not we would not be able to move forward until we accept that this is who Jesus had made me to be. Just as Gideon, he was a mighty man of valor, mighty man of war, a man, mighty man, but he could not see it, but God allowed him to eventually. So sometimes God will um, send prophets and prophetesses to speak over your life and you don't see what they're talking about but down the line once you go through that period and stage of self-reflection then you start to see who you are in Christ you start to accept your identity and finally what I want to talk about is being refreshed when you think of water you don't forget about it being still when you think of water you think of drinking water is life sometimes when God isolates us it is just for us to 
recuperate. It is just for us to be recharged. It is just for us to be refueled. A lot of us, we keep expending our energy in the same place, just not getting anywhere, just exerting ourselves and just feeling drained at the end of the day. But when Jesus isolates you, when Jesus takes you away from, you know, your group of friends, just for a little while, when Jesus takes you away from your spouse, not to say a divorce, but you start to avoid certain arguments, you start to avoid things that disrupt your peace because You've allowed yourself to go through a period of isolation where you refresh yourself. I admit, my husband knows I'm not the best when it comes to, you know, especially when I'm tired, I get so nag naggy, nagacious. <laughs> I get, like, I, I just get in a whole different space and vice versa. But he's able to tell me, Jeanette, come on, you need to sleep, you need a break. He was so sweet trying to get Adeline for me to sleep and all that and here I am doing this YouTube video but I thank God because you know sometimes when we have people who support us and say you know what come on take this break my sister or I can do this for you just as my spouse he would let me sleep whilst he gets things done or vice versa that is how God helps us sometimes he says just take a break refresh yourself let me handle this so that when you come out, you come out stronger and better. So is God taking you through a period of isolation? Or is God leading you beside a still water and guess what? You just stir it up? A lot of us, Jesus has shown us that separation will bring us peace, but we still want to stick. When, when we're separated, we say, no God, I can't stand this. My life is, is drama free. I don't like that. So we go find issues. So that's how we stir up the still waters. Please, let us not stir up the still waters. When Jesus has provided an opportunity for us to be isolated, sometimes you just know you need a break. Take the break. Don't stir up the water. Don't worry yourself. Don't create issues where there's none. When God isolates you, it is for you to have peace, to self-reflect, and to be refreshed. So do not stir up the waters, my dear brothers, sisters. God, be with us. And I just want to thank you, God, for this refreshing message. May your will for our lives be done. Thank you, God. We accept the peace that you have sent our way. In Jesus' name, be exalted and glorified, O oh God. Do the same. Amen. Bye, guys. Thank you all for coming onto my channel. Be sure to subscribe. Currently, have 87 subscribers, and I'm really excited. And I'm so grateful for each and every one of you. Um, God sees you all. God bless you. Take care.